Hi guys, uh, thank you for that quick and productive meeting we had earlier this week. I'm happy to show you these new uh, design revisions. There are not many of them, so this video should be pretty quick. So if we come into the entry, and we'll take a look at the first change I made, which is the elevator column, or the elevator shaft. So if we stand here in the living room, we can still see the stairs feel really open. They allow that great opening to the pantry space, but instead of being that uber expensive vacuum tube type of elevator shaft, I propose going with the 15 square foot cab design that is more enclosed, but will feel more roomy than the smaller 12 square foot options that are available out there. Uh, my design intent here is to make this shaft that the trees are, <laughs> make this, the shaft that the stairs wrap around feel like it's uh, another one of those 40 inch redwoods that you have outside. Oh, went too fast outside, let's back up a bit. So you can see here we're getting a glimpse of that third redwood tree in the row, the one, two, three trees that we have here. This would feel like a rather larger specimen, sure, but I feel like it would, it would work and feel like a tree trunk heading up to the top of the space. I think this is nice. Of course, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on whether or not this kind of enclosed elevator shaft would work for you. And then from upstairs, when you step out of the master suite door, there would just be this simple cable guardrail right here that would allow really clean, uninterrupted views looking down the stairs as well. Of course, if you're wanting a view, I imagine that you're going to look out these three windows here instead. Okay, let's take a look now at the other change, which was the ADU. I was previously showing sliding glass doors here at this corner, uh, but per our discussions, we're now just going to have the one swinging door access. Uh, and I'm now showing full height glass uh, down to the floor, right at the corner here, and flanking that would be two operable casement windows. So I think sitting here at this corner desk, opening up these two windows would give a really lovely um, sort of cross breeze. And of course, for an additional cross breeze, we'll have this window here at the ADU sink, so you can get a whole room cross breeze if desired. I think it's a fantastic view. I would certainly love <laughs> to do my uh, my architectural work right here sitting at this desk looking out on these two big trees. Uh, this is so special. Uh, the other change you asked for was the addition of a uh, another window above the toilet. I think that's a fine thing to add. So we'll now have two windows. One here above the shower, which is not modeled yet, uh, and then one here above the toilet as well. Uh, neither one of these will impact any privacy concerns inside of the, uh, the bathroom being so high up. That sill, the bottom of the window, is six feet above the floor. So certainly no one's privacy will be impacted standing in the shower or using the toilet. I think that sums it up for the changes that you guys asked for. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, so please get back to me. Uh, we can do our Monday meeting if possible. Thank you.